any teacher's name, but this dude was really, really, really mean. I want to sponsor my friend's app. It's called Hook. Now, Hook is an app that you can see all the events in your city or out of city or in the world. So if you like to go to events, there's events posted from other people. You can, you can even post your own events. I use it sometimes and it's cool. I recommend it. I bet my friends gonna get super rich of this. So basically download the app store. I'm not sure if it's an app store or Google Play, but just download it, just download it. So question number one, what were your favorite parts about high school? Well, my favorite parts about high school was the academic activities, sports, and spirit. Freshman, sophomore, it was not really that driving because people kind of sucked at everything. But as soon as, you know, we kind of let loose of the high school, it was becoming better and better and better. And that's and become my favorite part about high school. Second, how, how was it like for you to make new friends? Well, in my freshman year, I literally added everybody, like literally everybody <laughs> in my school. And whoever wanted to talk to me, talked to me. Whoever did, did it. But they added me for some reason. But you know what? You can start from there. You can just get to know people. Get to know people. They don't want to mess with you. Carry them to curve. Number three. Did you have a positive or negative experience in most classes? Um, mostly it was okay. I want to say positive, but it was just okay. Because it was like an average class. One class was just really horrible, which is the negative side. Ninth grade English class. I'm not going to give out my school name or any teacher's name, but this dude was really, really, really mean. He said he's not going to give anybody no A's. Um, it's really hard to get A's in this class. You know, you, do, you don't want teachers like that. And I'm just, to be honest, I don't want a teacher like that either because why, why are you here when you don't want to give out people A's? and just be really mean to people. I mean, that's not the part, that's not education. What education is, you trying to uplift people, not to down, down them down to failure. That was my negative experience of um, high school, but it was only through ninth grade, I was a freshman. My positives was all senior year. Even though we was in a pandemic, COVID-19, I was kind of better being um, homeschooled than being and campus because first you avoid all the trauma and school second um you're more focused because i got my grades used to be a b c a b c now it's a b or all a's so that kind of have a benefit for me that's part of a positive experience another positive experience was all my teachers and my coaches there was excellent in my senior year it was really excellent um kind of asked nothing number four what were your methods of handling a tough academic situation well if i have you know any troubles of academic situation i just talk to my dad hey asking for advice or his guidance and i get the problem done in a snap and i learn from it too number five what areas do you feel the school in particular perform poorly number one teaching okay so when you teach, do not lie about your teaching. Please don't. Oh my gosh. A lot of teachers do lie about themselves, do lie about what they like to please other people. And it's like fake, like we get it. We all know that you don't like this, okay? Just don't, just don't compare something that is something you don't like. I do not like that. Cause we don't really learn like that. We learn through real stuff. Second, was lack of encouraging people. It was encouraging some people, but not all people. Encourage them to do well. Encourage them to go beyond their heights. Encourage them to do well, to do better. Not well, like what well, I answered question number three, the negative part. Do not tell, do not make the class difficult. You want a learning space. That's what my senior year, all my teachers did. They made a really positive learning space. Number three, favoritism. All schools have this. I'm, I don't mind people like, you know, have their favorite, but don't, don't like, don't like if, okay, let me give you an example. Let me put my iPad down. I had, I seen a lot of favoritism at both of my schools I went to and it's 
suck horrible and it is really unconstitutional because you can't be doing that at all but i don't mind if you like you know if you prefer somebody i mean i have a preference with some people that i like as well as some preference people i don't like i have my opinions you know my pen you know, all opinions everybody want their opinions to be heard if you're favoring somebody like too much to where like you see this dude like working like really hard and they're like overseeing the person that you picked then there's something wrong with that and my school did that a lot as as you can see in senior year when the covid pandemic shut down where are your favorites now at home so don't do that and plus favoritism doesn't work in the real world who is the best of the best gets it if you're not the best bye that should be motivation for you guys be the best that you can be because th this world right here is so hard crucial you just got to be the best if you fail at some things don't worry about it god has something better for you i mean keep on working hard as my dad says hard work wins this is kind of response to question five what my friend um typed but he said how could the school improve on set areas but i say education right so well this, this is going to answer like both of the questions both of the things that i talked about in question number five focus more on investing people like my school need to focus more on investing people than telling them how bad the world is because in the real world blah, 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 they tell they tell people they tell students how bad the real world is and it's like it's not really that bad it's, if you're a teacher please encourage your students because the students is the future i mean you guys are gonna grow old and if you has if you teach you know not encourage you them we we'll have some really messed up presidents <laughs> okay First, that don't give a crap about America or the world. Favoritism, that needs to be out the door. I mean, I get, you know, you like somebody, you know, you like their style, blah, blah, blah. Cool. But you got to play fair. So if you have too much favoritism, it's going to be unfair. And the schools today need to stop that because the school needs to be equal, not unfair. Now, question number seven. Do you feel there were enough students at activities? Well, Yes and no. I mean, if you look at like my school's activities, my school's activities, I mean, they had a lot, but so far like at sports and some academic areas, it needs to be filled out. For example, I'll, I ran track. Running, you know, running was my sport and I went to another school that had everything, like literally every um, event for track and field at my other school. I went to another school actually um, half a 10th grade to 11 they had like more opportunities there so when i went back i realized that like oh crap you know we should be having more and then the facilities on my school was not really all that we was kind of i think my school district was like the only school district that didn't have like certain stuff uh, compared to other school districts and basically i live in california number eight how do you feel you personally have changed as a person throughout high school well, I changed a lot in ninth grade. I thought, you know, gotta be knowing everybody just to be myself. So I was obviously myself, but like, I was like kind of focusing on around things. Um, not, not, it's not bad, but it was just a mature growth that everybody just goes through the grade. You know, I was, you know, adding everybody, trying to like talk to everybody. 10th grade, it was kind of the same thing. 11th grade, um, I switched school. Well, half of 10th grade, I switched school because 10th grade, oh my god, that was like really the worst year that I had in my entire life. 11th grade was okay, it was kind of like 9th and 10th combined. Um, 12th grade was perfect because I don't have to see no Number 9, what were your thoughts at the end of high school at graduation? Well, my thoughts was, out of all of this that caused in high school, through 2020 to now, you know, what the racial stuff, political stuff, president stuff, COVID stuff. I mean, we went through a lot. And guess what? I'm still alive and I graduated through a pandemic. So that's how I felt when I was graduating. I mean, I felt I accomplished something that for myself. And I was like really proud of myself. And plus I got my grades. My grades was, you know, no longer ABC, it was all AAAA or AAB. 
So yeah. Number 10. How did the pandemic affect you, your high school, I'm sorry, your high school experience? It has affected me a lot. Um, in 11th grade, that's when it happened to me when they said announced the lockdown for like two weeks, but it turned to a whole year. Well, not even a year, but like my school was out for like a year, you know, close, kind of close after a year. But it affected me more positive than negative because I mean the only negative part was that like you know I really want to see people in person not in you know just a iPad iPhone or just a computer you know just listening to people or in the chat so that was like the only negative thing but the positive thing was I got my grades I proof on my grades I proof on everything about my life literally how to deal with high school because it made me stronger. And I don't know if you have the same experience as me, but to be honest, that was like the best year. So thank you guys for watching this YouTube video. Please like, subscribe. Like, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more. And yeah, peace out.